We're here at the new Community College of the City University of New York. This is number 11. And we've served about 109,000 New Yorkers and their families through citizenship now. This is a country of immigrants. Our great scientists, so much of the great literature, so much of the great political thinkers, so many of the builders that have built America came here from places around the world. We would not be who we are today if we were not an opening society for uh, immigrants to come and make contributions to this great country and to improve their lives. And anything that we could do to open up the impediments that uh, prevent people from coming and building a life, I think, is something that we need to do. Immigrants have uh, not just made New York City. They have made our state. They have made us the empire state. We took people that uh, were struggling in their own countries and came here and gave them opportunity. And they made our nation the most powerful nation in the world. In the past, it's always been a little bit uh, heartbreaking to get calls from hardworking, honest, uh, undocumented immigrants who've been in the United States for many, many years who are seeking help, uh, and we were not able to provide them any help because the laws uh, didn't provide any outlet for them. And very often, these individuals did go to people who would take advantage of them, who would lie to them and take their money. Well, next year, I'm very confident that we will have an answer for those, those people. We will direct them to honorable attorneys and honorable not-for-profit agencies who will be able to uh, provide them the service that they need so that they can get on the path to citizenship. In 2011, I wanted to bring my 14-year-old son here from Jamaica. I read about the call-in program, the Daily News, and phoned in. A volunteer explained my option and gave me a number of CUNY Citizenship Center at your college. The staff there helped with all the paperwork at no charge. They were of great help because having my son with me is very important because he is the love of my life. This call-in and all of the work all year round and the work of our Secretary of State and USCIS and the Daily News Outreach and all of the work of our sponsors transforms the lives of families, not just the individuals who are helped but their entire families. And that multiplier effect, of course, is very much the story of New York City. So as we begin this call-in, as immigration reform is clearly on the way in Washington, uh, I pull out from my pocket the presidential pen that President Lyndon Johnson gave me, one of the pens, uh, in October of 1965, when he signed the last great comprehensive immigration bill. And as the Secretary of State has indicated, we know and we're going to help ensure immigration reform this year and hope that President Obama will sign the next great comprehensive immigration bill here in New York City, which is, after all, the heart of immigrants in America.